Welcome to Mike's Literary Minute, where books can be listened to and enjoyed. Hello, my name is Michael. I've been listening to audiobooks since the mid-1980s, and today it's kind of a good day for me for the simple fact I actually got a response back on one of my videos from the author itself, David A. Simpson. I actually took time out of his day and responded to one of my videos. So that was incredibly cool. David, you're an awesome writer. I really hope you write more books. I want to review them. I want to listen to them. I want to buy them. I wish to give you money. So please make more books. I try and do uploads every other week. Every week, every other week. Well, it's only been a couple of days since my last upload, and that's because I had a whole bunch of books that I ordered from Audible for Christmas. I went and got all the, the, the credits, about five credits at one time, burned all five of them within 10 minutes. And one of the books I picked up is called Mistletoe Murders by Ken Kupris. And I wanted to review this book. For me, it's, it's something not in my normal wheelhouse. And the reason being is the first book in the series is podcasts. I'm not a big fan of podcasts, never have been, never will be. But it starts off as podcasts, and there are six of them. Each podcast is 30 minutes long. Each book is two 30-minute segments. You have the beginning and the end. Uh, I really enjoyed the, the books, and the reason being is that, first off, you've got a character that is surrounded by mystery. The person you'll find out in the books doesn't exist. This person's a ghost. And what a ghost is, in this instance, is a person who went through some type of a WITSEC program or government changed their identity for some ungodly reason. Usually it has, when the, in instances like that, it has to do with they, they testified against someone and the government's trying to keep them from getting shracked. Well, in Mistletoe Murders, you start out with the first two book, or first two, and it kind of drags you in. And you, you, you're telling the story, and there's a sarcastic antidote to it, where the the lead character is is like, well, no, 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 yeah, that's the reason this happened. And there's a little bit of sarcasm, which is right in my wheelhouse. I was born sarcastic. I'll die sarcastic. And I really enjoyed the first three books through podcasts. Well, not realizing it was podcast, I got the second book because it was, I think it was four or five bucks. I didn't even use a credit on it. I used, just paid it outright. And you have to listen to them in order because if you listen to uh, Mistletoe Murders 2 first, it will not make any sense. You gotta go back and do the podcast. Sorry, that's the way life is. But the setup is very, uh, very linear. It is very linear on the setups and honestly it works it works very well it works great for me as I said for me to actually say something nice about a podcast that's doing pretty good uh, collegiate scale on this book this book I'm gonna give it a, a solid three and the reason it's getting the B instead of something a little bit better is because I feel that in 30 minutes when you're telling an entire murder mystery story and you're doing it in one hour, two 30 minute parts, there's not a lot of detail, a lot of depth you can get into. And the author tries very hard. He really does. I gotta give him props on that. He does a damn good job. But if they were a little bit longer, say three episodes versus two episodes, I think it would have made for a little bit better book. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna trash the book. I'm just saying it might have been a little bit better. Uh, and I said, I'm in, I've already listened to all the podcasts, which is the first book. I am in the middle of the second book, and it doesn't disappoint. It really doesn't. I know it's not Christmas, it's Mistletoe Murders. All right, that's a Christmas themed book, okay? It says so in the title. Like I Care, I Could Care Less. Uh, one of the books I'm going to be doing in the future is actually a book that happens right at Christmas. And I could care less. I've listened to it whenever I want to listen to it. That's the beauty about me being me is I'll do what I want and when I want. Uh, that book, I will be doing a review on it. It is uh, one of the Longmire series so the, by uh, Craig Johnson. It's called Steamboat. It happens literally Christmas Eve. And in my opinion, it's his best book, but we won't go there. Uh, these books, they happen around Christmas, happen around New Year's. 
you get a little bit of backstory, you get enjoyable characters, you get sarcasm, hey, I'm all over that. So honestly, three on the collegiate scale all day long. If you haven't read the books or listened to the books, I don't know if you can actually read a podcast. My guess is it's listen only. Uh, give it a listen. I do podcasts, you can find them on multiple streaming platforms. I use, as I said, I use Audible. I use Audible pretty much primarily, but I do have books that are on CD. I actually have some books that are still on cassette. So your mileage may vary on how you get a chance to listen to them or read them. The second book more than likely is in print. I didn't check, didn't find it, in, uh, something I needed to do before making the video. I like the book. What do you think? Have you read the books? Have you listened to the books? Let me know. Comments down below. As I said, I respond to any and all comments, especially when they come from David A. Simpson, who, my God, I want to buy that man a beer. I really, honestly, a beer and a burger. We'll go to Rudy's right down the street. I live in Texas. I live in Leon Springs, Texas. And there is a world-renowned barbecue joint literally four blocks from my house called Rudy's Barbecue. I will be more than happy to meet David Simpson there and buy him barbecue and a beer. And I'm very serious, David. You come to San Antonio, look me up. I bet you're a trip to hang out with. Oh, well, like, subscribe, share, comment, do all, do none, do whatever. And we'll catch you on the next book.